when you go to the Philippines, <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, first thing is, Dengue's there. Dengue loves to uh, knock you about a bit. A few years back, there was a whole fiasco in the media with me and Ilya relating to the money. Um, there was a fund put aside for malaria, uh, for treatment for a dengue. The money seems to have disappeared. Um, but then they had to then spend more money dealing with the fact that they hadn't spent any money on the prevention. And I believe the deaths that year was 114 people. So the threat is real. Um, cholera, I think there is cholera about. People don't really talk about it. But I know people have um, died from dysentery. You think, well, in this modern age, how does people die from dysentery? It's normally the dehydration part, which is very important that you keep people rehydrated, etc. Um, I know a young child that died from it, and if people had told me the, the child was ill at the time, I'd actually help save the child by covering the medical costs, but nobody told me. The only time I knew was somebody asked me for some donations towards the coffin. That is some of the realities, the grim realities of life in the Philippines. Uh, what else have you got? Oh, amoebas. Amoebas, be very careful of things like chicken, make sure it's cooked and cleaned properly and all that sort of stuff because amoebas, once you get one, you can't get rid of it. It's it's inside you and it's a permanent resident. Um, I know two people that got amoebas and they ain't get rid of them any time. So. <laughs> uh, and that's not a laugh at them by the way, it's just the fact it's just one of those things that is normal in the Philippines but nobody tells you until you go and then you go oh I've been sick oh what happened oh yeah this happened all oh, right yeah if you'd done this it wouldn't have happened <laughs> that's the Philippines another biggie coke cans I haven't got one here um, when you get one always work around the top the reason being is you're trying to prevent uh, infections and diseases from rats um, and other beasties um, Wirral's disease is something we have in the West. I haven't heard of anybody getting Wirral's disease in the Philippines, but um, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means people haven't been diagnosed with it. There's all sorts of going on. Um, I've been to a resort where the water from Cebu City, let's, let's get this right, uh, Cebu City sort of comes out and with the straits comes down and I'm in a resort down here. Uh, we all went swimming for the day. The water was a bit cloudy. It's all the crap from Cebu City. We were all sick for at least a week because of the water. That's this bit. Well, hang on. Let me get my drawing right because it's back to front in this uh, <laughs> camera. Um, but the further south you go, the cleaner it gets because the further away it is from big cities. And I want to make that clear. In the south of Cebu City, the water's amazingly clear. Um, mobile. Or, all those sort of places beautiful place to go swimming um, yeah most of this is I would say self-inflicted is community inflicted because you're not causing it but your neighbors could be one of the biggest ones is where they throw all the crap in the neighboring lot because Joe blogs next door he's gone to work in on ships for the next 10 years so as such we'll treat his his little lot as our dumping ground because that's how good we are as neighbours that is extremely common same with people just throwing things in the open sewers etc also using the sewers and stuff for the wrong thing um, because the open sewers shouldn't actually be used for um, solid waste should we say but everything happens it's I, it's frustrating because so many of these things can be prevented so many people have invested money uh, to actually try and prevent stuff to find the stuff being sold off and things it just makes your hair well fall out like this <laughs> but yeah be very careful uh, one of the things I would say if you're looking for medical insurance though is get one that covers you for when you're returning to work because like when I had dengue um, I'm not saying I was sick but people actually cry and expect me to die um, that's, that's how severe it was I, I couldn't get to the toilet and back without collapsing and being out for a couple of hours after going to the toilet 
Um, it, I was in a bad, bad way. Um, yeah, I mean, my, like I said, my, see where it's white and red? That was actually caused by the dengue. Um, so be aware of this stuff. It's not like the worst, and if you get rushed to a hospital, doesn't mean the hospital's going to be great. Um, I know hospitals that you have to bring your own bandages to. Um, there's risks. And all, all I always say to people is um, assess your risks. Do your uh, risk management. Be sensible about stuff. Ask people before you go, have they had any problems with mosquitoes or whatever? And they'll say, oh yeah, don't worry about it. Or, um, or yeah, last week we had an outbreak of malaria, for example, and we've had about 10 people die. Then you know, okay, those malaria tablets are worth taking. <laughs> Yeah, but beyond that, you're not really going to have any problems. I mean, I actually got the dengue from being in Cebu City. I'd actually got the immigration. It's the only place they'd actually been in contact with other people because it wasn't in our area. Um, our house is sealed like Fort Knox. Um, you can't get bugs in there generally. Um, also, we kill everything. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you found this video useful, but please be aware that. Um, you need to think about these things. Research what to do if you get some of this stuff. Um, Tawa Tawa is it's milk milk plant is the one for dengue. There's other stuff for different things because I'll be honest with you, the the local remedies work probably better than going to the hospital because the hospital do blood transfusions and all sorts. I think. I don't think the uh, blood transfusions actually help. I think they put you more at risk. But anyway, pushing that to one side. Just make sure you've got insurance for when you get back. Because I forgot to add that bit. Um, because when I got back to the UK um, after my dengue bout, I couldn't. I couldn't do nothing for about three months. It really knocked me about. Um, because the problem is, you're drained. I mean, literally, you just have no life in you your body just feels completely shut down you know getting out of bed is like a major achievement all right thanks for watching